Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where I just noticed that this is independent again. That's interesting. There's also this little area over here, but we do have a faction brewing up here. This is what? Peasant rabble? Peasant rabble. I don't think we really care about that. So we can go after like this guy. Yeah, we can seize this du jour. Done. Some of this is inland, but because it's du jour, that is legal for us. So that's fine. We will raise up our troops over here. Do we need anything other than our men-at-arms? Probably not, but we'll raise a few extra just to be safe. Raising about 5k here should be fine. There we go. Cool. And we'll group these together once they're raised. There we go. And this shouldn't be too challenging to get this done. It looks like they're not even looking at really resisting us. In any meaningful way. So that's good. Runala will take it as well very soon. Get this up here as well. That's interesting. I'm not exactly sure how we'll handle that just yet. But we'll come back to it. These guys are upset. A peasant's lot is to serve their look. This is not very threatening at all. They have like 8,000 troops. Okay. We're going to raise up some troops here. And that should be more than sufficient to deal with these guys. Cool. How's the siege going? It'll be a bit yet. Okay. Well, we'll eliminate these guys no problem at all. There we go. Yeah, these peasants aren't going to be an issue. So down we go, and we will get rid of these guys as well. This siege will be done shortly. They've got like 11,000 troops here. Hmm. Okay. Where did they get most of these troops from? Where indeed? These are part of the Peasant Uprising? No, they're not. What are these troops? Why is Estonia in this? Okay, this isn't relevant. Oh, okay. Did I have the wrong guy selected? Maybe. But, I mean, even then, it's not relevant. I mean, we win this very easily. I guess I was just looking at that wrong? Sure. That's fine. So, the peasants are defeated. No problem. We'll enforce those demands. And disband these troops. Yeah, they'll take time to return home. That's okay. We finish up this siege. No real problem here either. Despite these guys not being expected. We're only at 78% war score. Okay. What's the plan here? Really? That's your plan? We'll let them lock in. And we'll fight them here. This should end the war. Cool. So we'll enforce those demands. That is de jure our territory. Apparently this came to us. It doesn't need to be ours. Cool. We can grant vassals out to rightful lieges, and we will do so. Okay, so what next? Well, we need to disband our troops, and I'd like to look at what possible CBs we have against this guy. It's not a lot. Hmm. How much of this is coastal? These three counties. And then up here, all of these are coastal. There's a lot of inland here, though. So if we were to do this, these claims are useless to us. Subjugation would, in theory, do the trick. 
I think that would technically be legal. But I don't think that really fits the spirit of what we're doing here. So we're going to avoid that. What else would we potentially be able to do in terms of duchies? Yeah, those aren't great. Okay. Those aren't great either, in all honesty. So with that in mind, are we still truced with this guy? We are. Okay, are we still truced to this guy? We are. What about the Byzantines? Technically, everything in this duchy is legal. Little sad that it doesn't contain Lika here, but everything else here is good. We're truced, though, so that's not going to work. We could go after Azov. We can take three of the four counties there. That really doesn't work, though. Okay. Very sad. Well, we could go after Estonia. That is definitely an option. Not this duchy, that's for sure. This is only a single duchy. That's not great for us. But the Duchy of Estonia, that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and do that. We'll declare that war, and we will raise up our troops down over... That's not how you raise troops. We'll raise up our troops down over here. How many are we going to need? He has four troops. Okay. We did just stack wipe him. He had an ally joint. 6,300 troops. This should be sufficient. Cool. Well, in we go. Fantastic. So we're going to get this siege done. Ten more days on that. And are we going to ignore their troops? I kind of feel like we do. Yeah. I think we ignore their troops. So we're going to hit their capital here, and then we'll head over to this castle. These guys are going to group up a bit. That's fine. They've got fewer troops than we do. And we have better troops. Okay. Okay. So we're going to finish up the siege on their capital here momentarily. Does that end the war? No. They embarked here. That's an interesting choice because now we can make our way over here quite quickly and fight them while they are still recently disembarked. Or I guess just fight this third of their army. That works too. I guess we'll come in here now, and that will end the war. Cool. Let's go. This will definitely end the war here. Oh, wow, it didn't. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it will definitely not end the war. We're 3% off. That was only 21% of battles? Oh, I see. Finland joined the war. And is sieging up over here. That'll do it. But sieging this will win the war for us for sure. And we should be able to siege faster than them. Yeah. We're definitely going to out-siege them. So no problem here. That'll be done presently. There we go. War is over. We'll enforce those demands. And we'll disband those troops and hand all of these out. Cool. So no problem there. What are we going to go after next? Well, we could go after some Finland. That is for sure. 
Under most circumstances, I would absolutely subjugate Finland. But again, I feel like that doesn't really fit the spirit of what we're doing here. This is an interesting duchy to go for. All of these down this way are legal. This one is not. So we would have to grant independence here. But honestly, I think that's fine. And that's going to be a big chunk of Finland. So I like it. Now they're bringing in troops right here. So we're going to do something kind of like this. Now we know that they have access to around 15,000 troops. Cool. Yeah, that's what I thought. We're going to catch these guys here. Oh, we have 41,000 here. This is way more than we need. We're going to cut this in half and get rid of half of these. There we go. Okay, from here, we will head on in this direction. Excellent. Funnily enough, Estonia is also in this one. Wait, was that the spear we had equipped? No, we have a hammer equipped. Okay. Good to know. So the siege will be done in 35 days. Finland's army is sieging up here. Well, part of it is. Okay. If this is going to be their strategy, then we'll resort back to our standard siege force. And we will head down over this way. Well, these guys come on over and clear up the Finnish army over this way. Cool. So we'll head on in here. Yep, we are going to have no problem with this battle. Both of these should stack wipe. Well, they didn't, but they have reinforcements coming in. Oh, <laughs> we walked out of there. That makes me sad. We're going to come down this way and continue to siege. Okay, that was stack wipes. Fantastic. We're going to make our way up over this way. And from here, we're at 38% battle war score. We can definitely get more. So we'll look for that. These guys can head down and continue to siege. We're going to catch something here. I don't know what. Both of them. Cool. That could easily stack wipe. We'll see if it does. Nope. It did not. But we'll make our way down here. And hopefully... Our nephew is our new player heir. Ah, because she died in childbirth. I see. Well, we can restore this guy's inheritance. He is our youngest child, and we'll go ahead and do that. Cool. He is unmarried, and we definitely want to go for someone with high stewardship and intelligent would be good here, too. Done. Fantastic. So, are we going to end the war from this siege? Probably not, is my guess. We'll go for wash your hands for people to be less sick, hopefully. We'll come over here and try to stop these guys from sieging back this fort. I don't know that we'll succeed. Yeah, they got it back, but we get there in time to stack wipe them. Cool. And then we'll come take this over and come deal with these guys. There we go. Cool. So we're 99% war score. Ticking will get us there or this battle. Whichever comes first. And it was ticking. I'll let the battle finish. 
There we go. And we will enforce those demands. Disband those troops. And this guy has to be granted independence. Okay. From here, we will grant out that title, and the rest of this is reasonably fine. We are above our vassal limit. So we should look at duchies over here. We can't get Corland just yet, but we can do Estonia. Cool. There we go. And we can also do a duchy down over here in Novgorod. Fantastic. And there we go. So there's more coastal territory for us. Always good. From here, I'd like to turn our attention back over this direction. We've barely broken into the Iberian Peninsula at all. And I wouldn't mind... These are some awful duchies. Okay. We'll just go for this county. I don't love it, but here we are. He has about 5k troops. We'll raise up a few of our own. There we go. And we've got more than enough here. We're going to move in and stack wipe his army. His allied army is going to walk away. Okay. So what can we get for our dynasty legacy here? Well, we're working our way down glory, and that's fine. We'll grab assertive rulers. Cool. No stack wipe there, but we'll come over here and siege this. He didn't actually take that major of losses, in all honesty. So sleep will do us all good, I'm sure. Okay, so we are going to grab ourselves our mangonels here. And split off a few units of levies. These guys are going to head over towards the capital. There we go. Uh, we don't have a siege leader here. We should have one. Hmm. Okay. To the capital. They're going to fight us here. Which is slightly shocking. But okay, they get stack wiped. There's quite a large number of units here. So we're going to swing back over this way. Yeah, this is all fine. We're going to swing back over this way. They have a pretty good amount of numbers. They're fighting each other over here. War's over. Cool. Cool. So we don't need to bother fighting all of these guys. That's good. I was a little concerned about their numbers, but it's all fine. We will grant this out to a noble of the Norse culture. And we could think about maybe going after, like, this over here. We'd have to grant this out, but we would get all three of these. I feel like that's not the worst thing. Okay. Okay. Well, let's get some troops raised here. That'll be fine. This should be more than sufficient on the levy troops, and the men-at-arms are here now. Fantastic. This guy's only got 3,000 troops. Okay. We don't see their armies at this time. Oh, there they are. Not really going to do anything about them at this moment, in all honesty. They're not very threatening. We're going to head out over this direction. I mean, if they're still fighting here by the time we arrive, and they are, then we should split off a siege force here. And have these guys arrive in a couple of days here. Now. Cool. Sure. 
Sure, we'll pay the court a visit. There we go. People convert. Beautiful. So we're going to head in and catch their army here. And we're going to finish up our siege very quickly. But getting a bit more of a toehold on the Iberian is definitely a good idea, especially since we established Norman culture. Merge our Norse and local French cultures together. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't know that we're going to do that. Oh, we're a witch. Okay. But we definitely want some Iberian holdings here. An Iberian foothold would be nice. What is this dangerous faction? Liberty. We'll probably just fight them, in all honesty. I think that's okay. This war is now over, so we'll enforce those demands, disband our troops, and we definitely need to grant this independence. There we go. Cool. And there's some more coastal holdings. So I think we need a duchy here. Yes. That goes to this guy. Done. Can we get a duchy down here? Actually, yes, this guy. There we go. And we're still at our vassal limit here. Cool. So I think at this point, we don't establish Norman culture. Well... No. We've done too much cultural work. Okay? We're not going to establish Norman culture. What else can we do? Not too interested in those either, for the time being. Okay. So at this point, all we're doing is we are waiting for this Liberty faction to get around to firing, which it will eventually. But that is definitely what we're going to do here. I, I think since that's going to be a little while, we can definitely say that this is a decent time to put a cut in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to fight this faction. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for me making this video possible, including Casserole, Sigma162, JJ Gamer, Ken Twin, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Video Games Are Not Real, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Raw Potato, Elmichi Nazi, Justin Everett, Emiliano Cambrin, Martin Lawrence, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.